Okay, hello everyone, welcome. Can you hear me? Okay, just we're waiting one minute, then we'll start the session. Okay, so we will start today's session. So I hope all of you already get the previous uh, materials, mainly different session also get the uh, practice code. Okay, so after completing the three hours live training, then we talk about the problem solving class for the uh, previous day. Okay, so let me share my screen. Okay, okay, can you see my screen? Is it visible? okay thank you so let's all start so basically today is our third number class so today i discuss about that how to calculating any indices so in the remote sensing we use different types of indices to extract the different types of information from satellite imagery so landsat sentinel this type of satellite imagery we are used and calculating the different types of indices we will discuss about that and we'll also discuss about that how to filter and displaying the satellite images signal to for the different season okay suppose for the specific time period i want to display the satellite image for the different season suppose rainy season summer season okay how we can easily filter the data or image collection by season wise and further how we can easily monitor the water body or vegetation indices we already discuss about that and how to extract the water body from the satellite imagery we also discuss and how to make the time series chart uh, from uh, Landsat or Sentinel imagery and then how to make the annual time series chart or monthly time series chart for the different types of indices and how to export the shape file from Google Earth Engine and also we discuss about that how to add the gradient legend and title on Google Earth Engine and how to make the flood mapping using the Sentinel 1 SAR data as well as how to compute the monthly time series chart for the different types of uh, indices so let's go step by step i try to complete all of those then i hope you can easily get the idea okay so let's start so let me open a code editor So first of all, how we can easily filter the satellite image for the seasonal. Suppose I want to um, filter the satellite imagery for the two season. 
uh, for summer season and rainy season so for that uh, first of all we need to import our satellite imagery it can be landsat or sentinel you can use any satellite imagery there is no all of satellite images are the same process okay so first of all simply import a satellite imagery it can be landsat or sentinel same process so let me import a um sentinel 2 satellite imagery for that just click on the browse data catalog and then open the sentinel section so here we can easily find out all of sentinel 2 image collection and if you check this is a sentinel 2 multi-spectral instrument and here we find out that uh, all of so in this time we are just use the surface reflectance just click on here so now i can get all of information about that uh signal to multi-spectral instrument level to surface reflectance so this data set available between this time period 2017 from 2025 uh, 9 november this is the last time period and this data set provided all of information you can get from here you can see this is the artisan snippet id for this image collection and all of bands reflectance band we also find out in here and also you can see the image properties okay so now this image collection we need to import in our code editor so for importing just copy the snippet id so similar process just a copy and then paste in this code editor okay then just give a variable name before the variable name just use the var keyword then we put any name i put the name suppose uh image image collection or image this name you can put any name as a variable so now this is my image collection this image collection i want to filter for a specific region of interest suppose Dhaka city boundary or any specific geometry or polygon so let me import my study area so he said you want to work so in this case suppose i want to work for uh, a specific boundary so here i already import the shape file mainly polygon for my specific boundary or you can also use the pow or also use the us device website uh, this type of data source you can also use as a boundary i want to work suppose dhaka city boundary so this is my study area i simply import and i put the variable name as it uh, it's a table it's a default variable name but if you want you can also change it or don't change it there is no problem i change it suppose i put the name as the roi you can put any name as a variable so now in this case i simply import my image collection and also import my region of interest so now first of all i need to filter this image collection where you need the image so i need the image for the dhaka city boundary for filtering where we simply use a function we already discussed about that it's called the filter bounds function okay filter bounds with my study area just i put the roi so this is my dhaka city boundary I simply import then suppose um how i filter suppose i need the image less than one percent cloud cover so for that we simply use that function filter metadata if you want you can use here the filter filter metadata or if you want you can also use the another function we already know about that it's called the dot filter then art engine filter dot less than okay so same so just put the image property name so in this case this image property is i want to use suppose cloud pixel per sentence just i copy and then paste here and it's a string a string mainly group of character so for that must use the quotation start and end because it's a string then i simply assign the value put the comma sign i take the value suppose one so now i simply import where i need the image i just filter then how i need the image i need the image this image will be not more than one percent cloud cover i simply choose it then when you need the image so in this case it's a time period suppose i want i need the image in year of 2024 but further i also filter for rainy season and summer season or suppose i need the image suppose from 2000 uh suppose 2015 to 2025 all of year but i need only for the summer season or rainy season 
So first of all, you can simply take the whole year. Suppose I take the image from 2024, 1st January from 2024, December 31. Or you can put suppose year of 2020, 2024. Suppose I take the all of year. Okay, first step is simply take all of year and further I need to also filter for a specific month or a specific season between this year 2000, 2020 to 2024. Suppose 2020 to 2024 I need only for summer season or I need only for the rainy season or any specific season. So for the first step we just simply take the whole time period understand we simply take the whole time period we simply take the whole time period 2020 to 2024 okay we take the whole time period or suppose i need for only one year suppose i need the result only one year different season or only two year three year four year whatever you need you can simply mention the time period mainly year suppose in this case i just take only for the one year so for this one year i simply filter for two season Suppose summer season or rainy season. Okay. So now if you check how many emails, I want to check it. How many emails is available? Just I call the emails collection. And then apply the size function. Okay. And run the code. So now it's computing total 25 emails. Okay. We find out. This 25 emails is available between this time period. And this 25 emails is less than 1% cloud cover. And this 25 emails is available for my region of interest in Dhaka city boundary. Now I want to filter this emails to season. Okay. Suppose uh, dry season and also wet season. So first of all, suppose dry season. So how I can filter it for dry season? So take a variable. Suppose I put the variable name is that uh, dry emails collection i just put this type of variable you can put any name as a variable name and now i want to filter so how where i filter so this 25 emails is stored in this variable just i copy and paste here just i paste here and now we need to use a function this function called the date range function if you simply check the function in here date range so dead trends, e dot dead trends. If you check dead trends, so you can see the start, end, and time zone. Okay, as well as you also use the another function. It's called that calendar trends. If you simply check, or I simply search here. Suppose calendar trends. If you check this function. So e dot filter dot calendar range. So in the calendar range, suppose we simply return a filter that passes if the object time stamp. Suppose I simply put the start month and in month, I put the field, suppose month. Okay, field basically unit. It can be day, it can be year or month. Okay, you can see the argument. A start integer value, int integer value, okay, and field day of the year or month or hour or minute so different field we are also using here so in this case we just filter for seasonal so we simply choose the month okay so just i use this function ee dot filter so further simply use here the filter function and then write the function ee dot filter dot calendar range so now i want to put the calendar range for the dry season so just you can simply mention the month Suppose uh, I mentioned the dry season, it is start from January, January mainly one, number one month. And then suppose January, then February, March, April, May, June, June mainly six or any specific month you can mention, no problem. And then put the comma sign and then put the unit. So in this case, unit is the month. So just put the month. So now what happened? So now in 2024, for the one year, I just filter it only for the specific month. Suppose January to June. January to June, I simply filter. 
so now if you check just print this dry image collection just a copy and then use at the dot size function so now it find out how many images are available between this season just run it we find out the 15 images okay so this january to june so in this season in this month for the one year 2024 we find out that 15 images this is our dry image collection dry season image collection so same we are just apply the another suppose wet season or rainy season suppose wet season so how we can filter simply just apply the same process take a variable i put the variable name suppose wet uh, image uh, collection then call this full image collection because it is stored at the total one year just paste here then filter apply art engine filter dot calendar range function so now you can simply mention the uh, a specific wait season month so in this case i just put the month suppose suppose start from the july to i put october okay july to october and then put the unit unit is the month so now let's check how many emails is available in the wait season just i put the print and call the variable name wait image collection yes please question yes please any question please okay i just wanted to i just wanted to comment about the the season isn't the this the other way around so it's different so i just write the code for the perspective of bangladesh okay so for your own country or own region oh. you can simply find out for the season rainy season summer season or winter season so different season it's just part, uh, only for the perspective of bangladesh i just tried the code for the dhaka city so in the bangladesh we find out the on the oh. dry season this month this uh, january to june then july to october okay so just we can when you work on your own study area try to find out uh what the season okay from um, oh. this month to this month then just write it it will be okay. oh. no problem yeah so now we find out just we simply filter and now i need to check how many images is available in the um wait season or, or or rainy season just run the code so in this case if you check it show the zero number zero zero